Taking a live look outside, you can see the clouds kind of hanging over Dallas and Gaston County. Pretty cool look. That's a couple of hundred uh, uh, feet up there. So we're kind of deep into the clouds and those clouds are setting the stage for some showers and storms that will have rolled through later on this afternoon and evening and about a few hours we'll see some of those storms in Charlotte. We're looking at some clouds from across the area from uptown Independence Boulevard, South Park and uh, Boone. You've got those uh, kind of puffy cumulus clouds. Things are mostly dry for now and again we'll find those storms igniting later on. Temperatures are warm out ahead of that front. Low and middle 80s. It's 82 degrees in Charlotte, 84 in Lancaster, 86 in Shiraz. Temperatures in the 70s in the higher elevations and it is sticky. Dew points are getting into the middle 60s, so that's where it feels a little bit humid and that humidity will fuel those storms. So we've got a couple of these showers starting to make their way um, from the higher elevations towards the I-40 corridor. A couple of showers in there, maybe a downpour or two. Still watching this cold front creep towards um, that state line there and this again will get here as we go into um, the afternoon. Now I'm watching some fuel for these storms. A lot of it is really focusing to the east. That's where the um, chance is a little bit healthier for some severe storms. You've got more juice there and you can see the yellow raft right around Raleigh where there's a few more ingredients, but we do have that marginal risk in the green a level one out of five for some of those strong to severe storms. Maybe one or two storms pack a punch and if it does, it would be for quarter size hail and uh, some damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. So we're looking at some sun and clouds out there today. Some scattered showers and storms start to roll through probably after two or three o'clock. We'll have them, of course, right in time for the evening commute. Temperatures warm in the middle and upper 80s. You see that front closing in right around 3 o'clock or so in the Charlotte area. It works its way to the east by the evening, quickly making it to the I-95 corridor and then we dry out going into tonight. So a couple of these showers and storms, you can see about three o'clock, it starts to make it to the I-85 corridor, working its way south and east by about six and seven o'clock, and then exiting some cooler 50s this evening, and then we'll have some cooler temperatures tomorrow too, much less humid uh, as well, low and middle 80s, and a much more cooler and kind of crisp feel out there tomorrow. Now it's gonna be short-lived, a summer sizzle really kicks in by the end of the week, high pressure starts to make it hot. I'm forecasting 93 degrees on a Thursday, just two degrees shy of record, one degree shy of record on Friday with highs in the middle 90s, and a couple of more degrees shy of record on Saturday, but temperatures still in the lower 90s. Average first 90 degree day is May 20th, so right on time. Now remember, it only takes temperatures upper 80s and lower 90s to get these cars dangerously hot over 100, deg 100 degrees in just a couple of minutes, so keep that in mind by the end of the week. Otherwise, we're looking at some of those scattered showers and storms today, 88 degrees, mostly clear and more comfortable tonight. Less humid on Tuesday with sunshine starting to get hot on Wednesday. Hot, hot, hot by the end of the week with highs back in the lower 90s.